The world is demanding much more out of our space assets, and Inmarsat is really at the forefront in the space industry. From an engineering standpoint, Inmarsat 6 is the top of its class. We are building the Rolls Royce of spacecraft. The Inmarsat 6 spacecraft are two of the most detailed designed, exquisitely manufactured, and comprehensively tested spacecraft ever to be launched in the telecommunications world. Every cable, every knot, every square centimeter of blanket that's put on, it has all been engineered and designed to the minutest detail and tested in the most comprehensive way possible. We have so much payload in these spacecraft, there isn't a square centimeter to put an additional piece of hardware. As an engineer, the main things that you need to consider when building a spacecraft of the complexity that we have on the NMARSAT-6 satellites is really attention to detail and the fact that you have to get it right the first time. Space is a very unforgiving business. We have very rigorous processes, requirements, tests, and we go through all these with a fine tooth comb every single time to ensure that we have absolutely 100% mission success every time. When Inmarsat first released the requirements for the Inmarsat 6 spacecraft, all manufacturers looked at it and thought, wow, this is going to be a huge undertaking. Airbus Defense and Space, with their platform, was the most qualified to be able to put together the I-6s. One of the most stressful things about building a spacecraft is not having options when challenges come up. Luckily, we have a brilliant team on the Inmarsat side and on the Airbus side, and we can bring these teams together to help identify existing options or create new options that we can have at our disposal. Other players in the satellite industry are investing in smaller and less complex spacecraft. What we're doing at Inmarsat is taking the lead. We're entering a new era of telecommunication spacecraft. We're investing in the kinds of technologies today that will meet the demands of tomorrow.